Greetings and salutations, I'm Kim. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Sid Meier's Colonization as the Dutch. And things are going pretty well. Much better than I expected on this difficulty setting, to be honest, but we have had a lot of luck. We got the start we wanted, the start we wanted had no natives nearby. We found four fountains of youth so far and quite a lot of treasures. And here are the English, probably too going to demand money. No? Okay, excellent. Let's go in peace. Still haven't met the Spaniards, but that's fine. Excellent, that's what we were waiting for. But, oh, it still isn't quite enough. Next turn they might have enough. Enough rebels that we can employ that last guy. Give us money. This is lots of money. No, you just well. Ugh. Oh, I forgot to shift these guys, these furs over into the international ships. Hmm. Fort Nassau, you do have a fair bit of cargo there. Might as well go there. Or what you can. Uh, I think we missed this one, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Now I just need to find a native village somewhere in this area. Ah, no, I don't want to be a fur trapper. Yeah, Fort Nassau is gonna need a farmer. Um, probably instead of the silver miner. Is that going to be enough food to actually bring one of you guys in? Yes! Awesome! Good! Get more Liberty Bells and hopefully normalize. Oh, didn't I start with a... Oh! What a mistake to make. I didn't start with Lumberville. Oops. And of course you decide to block the river. I'm just going to wait. sail around here and see if we can find something to prey on. Um, Blissing and Korka were only just founded. Um, so they won't have much in terms of cargo. Then again, I don't think I'm gonna use more than one galleon to go back and forth to Europe. There's a ship there, but it doesn't have cargo. So not something we want to kill right away. Uh, we waited a turn. Uh, still hasn't increased. Oh, I wasn't supposed to plow. Oh, yeah. I wasn't supposed to cut that one. That's the one I was supposed to trap furs on. Oops. Oh well. Guess we'll be planting a lot of co cotton here instead. We'll make this a fur city. Uh, speaking of, you can probably not actually. There we go. Could not go and make Liberty Bells just yet. Now, we should be able to make Liberty Bells. Perfect. Going. And now we are going to have to train uh, more carpenters, more specialists. And yeah, we can do that with the schoolhouse too, but just... First I need a farmer. As nice as it would have been to get the... Uh, get lots of preachers and basically recruit people. We've gotten so many people from uh, Fountains of Youth that I don't think that's even gonna be possible for us. And we're gonna accept a tax increase. Because why not? That's what we do. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna purchase any more ships or artillery. 
More Elder Statesmen would be very nice. We need to increase our labor development production. And we are going to need some hardy pioneers to uh, fix the terrain. Do I want to? Yeah, two hardy pioneers. I have to remember, they come with 100 tools. So basically they cost 400, not 12. And that's almost the same cost as these guys now. But I do want another Elder Statesman. I would love to buy more horses and stuff, but we can't really afford that. Can afford more people, but we can't really train them just yet. So we're gonna hold off on anything else for now. Uh, you are pretty far in the interior of the country. And I was gonna start some... Um, hammer production here. But we are gonna have to increase the uh, Liberty Bell production first. We need to make the cities productive and have more than like five people. And there we go. Minuit joins the Congress, which means all the lands near uh, Indian villages will now be free to use for us, which is very good. Okay, let's see. Choices. Not hand of it, that's just more information. Francisco Coronado, we don't really need that at all, it's just some exploration thing. Francis Drake is pretty good. That's gonna dramatically increase the power of our uh, ships, our uh, privateers. Franklin is pretty much just gonna uh, maintain peace. We're not gonna have sudden declarations of war and that kind of stuff. Rebuff would increase all the missionary strengths to their highest level. Mm. I think we're gonna go with Drake. And we have another farmer trained, good. Would it be nice if the guy on the farmlands was the one that actually got the skill? Okay, now you can exit the colony. And you're gonna train another carpenter. I suppose we won't be carpeting anything for a while. Um, carpenting. Yeah, that seems fine. Now this colony has room for more people. Quite a few, actually. Let's see, you're gonna go to New Holland and drop off at least two horses. You're gonna go down and visit the rest of the Incas. If you can. This one's just gonna haul goods back to the other colony. There we go. And yeah, we did visit the one in the north there. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look good in terms of uh, getting tobacco planting. Oh, darn it. Okay, fine, so we're gonna go around you. There are two ships there, but uh, none of them are ca have cargo. And we kinda need to prey on a ship with cargo. Let's see, these are both broadleaf square eyes. Right, that's a mixed forest. Okay, that's gonna go chopped first. Mixed forest is food, and we need food. Uh, now that we've started educating people, you might actually be better served going south rather than sit up here. And there's also the matter of starting cotton production. I mean, that's a lot of cotton. Yeah, okay, do that. And you go south, get yourself an education. You want to become a lumberjack, I can tell. You're a lumberjack and that's okay. One dude did go into Blissingen, so I'm just gonna quickly make sure he stays there. Stockade. 
got quite a bit of use of that freeze stockade. Well, at least for pretty factors. They aren't actually attacking us, thank goodness. We still haven't had a single Indian raid. That's most unexpected. Good, 56, that's good. Offer all these goods. Just two other horses. more goods to pick up there, so... Onwards! There aren't many Indian villages nearby here because the Spaniards burned them all. Speaking of, let's see if we meet them. Uh, okay... Uh, they declared war! Really? Okay, fine. That was kind of unexpected. Sugar planters. Arg. Okay, fine. So we got some sights and sounds there. So the Spaniards decide to declare war. That's... Uh. Oh well. Well, we know they are aggressive. I mean, they've already burned so many Indian villages. And there's room in this colony for you, isn't there? Yes, there is. Uh, that means we can actually hire the preacher to make crosses. Remarkably enough. Okay, you should not be here. You should run. I mean, th those Spaniards are <laughs> gonna kill us if we're not careful. Um, yeah, an extra farmer. Uh, already have one available there and a native. Don't need more farmers on that colony. We are going to need one farmer up here. And there's room for you, so... Up to Fort Orange you go. Let's see, they, those guys were sugar planters. At this point, might as well. And now we just have to run away because the Spaniards are at war with us. I mean, they did give us a choice. I had not, not expected them to be aggressive about... Uh, ...about not attacking the Arawak. Still. Oh, damn it. Wow! I had not expected to win that one. That was quite unexpected. And they have a ship with one cargo, that ship is gonna die. Though I'm not sure if you're gonna succeed, I mean, we just had one heck of a lucky roll. Get the schoolhouse going, we need to start educating our people here. To Korokan with you. Oh, they put a mission in the Inca capital. And if you're wondering why they're doing that, it's because the capital, as I think I mentioned before, basically represents the entire uh, entire tribe. So if you have good relations there, it'll mellow the relations in all the other cities, and vice versa. 
And that also means that since a mission will automatically uh, preach that the other colonists are bad, bad, bad people. So, yeah. If you're not careful, they're gonna incite the Indians against you. So at the moment, the Inca are basically being told to obey British interests, as far as I can tell. Please, please, please. Oh my goodness! Yes! We got a tobacco planter! Um. No, we need to run the heck away. Because the Spaniards are at war with us. And they'll kill us. So we're gonna attack Spanish shipping. Yay! I'm starting to like this game. I'm not sure what's going on, but... <laughs> I, I feel we've had luck on every turn. Everything has just gone in our favor. And because I'm saying this, it's probably gonna turn. Okay, you will have to evacuate that tobacco planter. It's just the most essential thing right now. And you just have to run away. Okay, secondary guy, where are I gonna send you? Krakow needs a field, New Holland needs a field. Start building a road to Krakow. And you go north and do the same with and you towards New Holland. We have another elder statesman. to keep that production here. Oh yeah, it's gonna go down next turn, but that's fine. Did need a farmer here, so you can start working the land. Probably gonna farm this one. Yeah, I'll make further, and that's fine. Three food squares should be enough. Two for cotton, two for... Wool, hold on for fur. There we go. Wool, fur, almost the same thing, right? And you just run south. That guy up there is looking rather menacing. I hope if that tobacco planter is killed, I'm gonna be so furious. Goods in Krakow, let's undo those, load aboard fur. Might have to start setting up some trade routes soon. Otherwise, this will be a lot of movement. Okay, what are you training in your capital? Silver mining, really? Oh, that's a crappy profession. Not much to be sent, since it's not many goods to send home right now. Uh, not think to really trade with the natives because we needed. Oh yeah, we needed the trade goods. I've completely forgot about that. And you're still gonna run, run away, run, run away. Um, I do believe they've killed every Tupi village except that one, which I can't really get to. Yeah, you guys are gonna just head north. We're gonna pick you up somewhere along the shore. You're gonna go to Europe with that load. And you're gonna live here. Silver miner. You know what? I'm just gonna steal the profession. Uh, 
Um, we did visit that one, so... Can I go all the way south to this? Yes, I can. Nearby lands. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to send home? Yeah, I'm going to send you home with fur. Then you're going to pick up the guys on the northern shore there. I guess he's gonna move north then. We can't really evacuate him anywhere else. Don't really need silver minings, but... Uh, by doing that, at least the AI can't benefit from it. And I'm actually not sure if the AI can benefit from it anyway, but... I did visit the Inca capital, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Silver miners. Yeah, the AI has a lot of ships going about here. Oh, did I just see a ship with four cargoes going by? Another ship with two cargoes, arg. So many cargoes. And we have a carpenter. Very good indeed. Now we're going to train the other guy into a lumberjack. Before. We're just gonna need the horses in every colony. Uh, yeah, I did visit you, but I'm gonna go there and then we might as well just do so again. <laughs> yeah, Fort Nassau got a full cargo of timber. Didn't give me a warehouse message. Should have told me that warehouse was full of goods. Oh well. Yeah, oh, darn it. One slide mistake there. Oh, there's actually a treasure up there. I didn't even see that. Uh, oh my. Oh, that's not what I intended to do, but I'll do that anyway. Okay, more gold, fine. Um. I might as well sell, send to New Amsterdam at this rate. You're gonna make a pit stop in Curacao. Oh my! Okay, so... Uh, that ship with four cargoes. So tempting, but no, no, I can't. I need to secure that... Um, that guy. I need a tobacco planter. More than I need whatever I can get in cargo there. I'm just gonna trade more sugar, sugar planters. We probably aren't gonna need any, but why not? Uh, you are still at five, so I still can't bring in these people. You know what? That, uh, you're gonna wake up. Um, just clear your specialty. Not specialty. Clear your uh, standing order. And I'm gonna just verify that I have defenses in all colonies, yes. Fort Nassau, Fort Orange, they have troops without horses. Not the ideal. But we don't have enough horses. Actually, we do have enough horses here. You're gonna become an expert. You're actually a petty criminal. Huh. Could train you, I guess, but not yet. Thank goodness that the Indians stopped the <laughs> Spanish uh, conquistador up there. 
But yeah, they've been rather odd in their settlements of places. Look at that, we have Roanoke and Quebec in the south here. So the French certainly landed in the far south spot. And Montreal up there. And then you have Cayenne all the way here. Jamestown up there. They landed in Brazil. And Guadeloupe. So basically they were at war and lost some soldiers. And the soldiers went a little bit away and founded a colony. So they're sort of intermingled. Then you had uh, the uh, Spaniards who started up here. And they went south. I mean, look at these colonies. They're pitifully small. Size 2. Santo Domingo is the only large colony they have. But they have burned just about every village in the area here. The poor Tupi. I think they torched one Arawak village as well, but... Not anymore. I mean, we could even settle a colony on Cuba. Colony there-ish wouldn't be too bad. Lots of fish. I can get tools. Very bit of sugar. Would be pretty close to a colony though, and of course it would be overseas, and that would be a problem when we can't get to the War of Independence. So we'd probably be better served with uh, touring into Mexico. Or even further inland, because these colonies would be very defended. I'm not sure if the uh, if the if the uh, Royal Navy could uh, deposit troops from lakes. I don't think they can. Would have been kind of funny if they could. Oh well. Okay. At any rate, I think it is time for another short break. So thank you for watching.